Why, hello, everybody. My name is Sigflup Sinislavl, also known as Assembly Assembly. And, uh, it's been an interesting time. I just got back a few days ago from Ye old Hospital. Where I was for half a month. Not that long. Long enough to promptly be given a therapeutic dose of Thorazine, as well as having administered, having been administered insulin coma therapy to shock the craziness right out of me. I'm kidding. This is in 1955. I think Thorazine was 52, and I think insulin coma therapy was used until 1972. So that was a joke. I was just monitored as they increased one of my antipsychotics. I'm doing well. I'm doing better. Um, the supposed delusion that I was having and somatic hallucination that I was having doesn't have the power that it had had when I went into the hospital. So I'm doing much better. Interesting story. There was this person who was there. We had this uh, beautiful view of the Mississippi River in the ward. Um, with the U of M campus right behind it. And this person came into our place and looked out this looked out at this beautiful view and started screaming. Ah, just screaming. Couldn't stop. We later found out that this person was hallucinating that the river was on fire. Which is pretty interesting. I've reviewed my medical records as I do whenever I have a hospital stay. And for the first time, they claim loosening associations being present in half of my interaction with the staff. So that's crazy. I don't feel like I had loosening associations. I don't remember telling them about a lot of stuff that was in their records. My hand is getting tired. And uh, so I wonder how much of my diagnosis, my ever so friendly diagnosis of paranoid schizophrenia is created by the medical establishment. And I am merely a victim of this that goes through my head. But that's crazy talk, isn't it? Why would they want to do that? That's crazy. I remember talking about MK Ultra, <laughs> which is something I probably shouldn't have brought up. In the hospital I talked about this. And I think that had a lot to do with why they wrote so many pleasant notes about me. With the golden words, severe, disabled, and chronic, sprinkled through my notes, sprinkled through my medical records, like sprinkles on a cupcake. I'm trying to find analogies here. Cupcake with sprinkles. Whatever. I think this this uh this video's done.
Thank you for watching, everybody. Glad that I'm back. Take care.